angry guy here and new law will punish single mothers for destroying their communities. So a new law will punish single mothers for destroying their communities. Many of you have heard about Project 2025. It's on the way. And this is basically a major shift to completely reshape the government and remove what they call the deep. And then we just add on the word state and you know what I'm talking about. So Project 2025, the right, the right dystopian plan to dismantle civil rights and what it means for women. This is absolutely a load of nonsense. But as you can see, these people are freaking out. With careful planning, conservatives today are working to make their policies, policy priorities permanent, no matter what happens in future elections. So guys, we are literally living in a horrible dystopia right now. And the people who are on the left, they are having the time of their life. Wealthy right-wing think tank, Heritage, the Heritage Foundation, has published a detailed plan for the next Republican president to use the executive branch of the federal government to attack the rights of women, the GLAD community, and the Biopoc community by eliminating the agencies and office, offices responsible for enforcing civil rights laws and placing trained right-wing ideologies, ideologue, ideologues, and staff positions throughout the federal government. So they're like literally going to wipe out 50,000 jobs in the federal government It's absol- and replace them with people conservatives. Call the 2025 presidential transition from project or project 2025 for short. The plan has four pillars. So page policy agenda, presidential personal database of vetted conservatives, presidential administration academy to train people to achieve the project 2025 policy agenda and 180 day playbook, which is what they hope to achieve in the first 180 days if Trump takes office in January 2025. To develop this plan, the Heritage Foundation organized a broad coalition of over 90 conservative organizations. Y'all, they're going hard. They're going hard. A who's who of groups that have led attacks on on um, rights to de- rights to delete gestation and bodily autonomy, gender studies, the Equal Rights Amendment, and the Me Too initiatives. So y'all, they're coming for Me Too. They're coming for me too. On top of that, they're going hard. Boy, oh boy, are they going hard. The coalition includes Concerned Women for America, the Independent Women's Forum, the Eagle Forum, the Susan B. Anthony Foundation, Moms for Liberty, Applog, uh, Obstructs by Gynecology, Students for American Life, uh, Alliance Defending F- Freedom, First Liberty, and Turning and Turning Point USA. The Heritage Foundation claimed over 400 scholars and policy experts participating in writing the policy agenda titled Mandate for Leadership, the Conservative Promise. It's intriguing. Their main target, what they call the totalitarian cult known today as the Great Awakening. Oh, my. The Great, the great Awakening. <laughs> so this is, this is really serious stuff. You guys are not messing around. And, of course, you can expect major cuts to programs such as welfare, uh, food stamps, Section 8, you know, a lot of these. It's going to be it's going to be bru- absolutely brutal reforms when it comes to child support system. So, for example, it's going to be a lot more difficult for women to collect child support and any child support they receive could potentially end up going on a card and the state would basically oversee how they would be allowed to spend that money. So they would not be able to just go and spend it anywhere or do anything they want with it. Every dime, every dime that they receive from child support would be monitored by the government, which is absolutely the way it should be. And any inter- any any purchases that are irresponsible or any type of fraud could actually land them in jail. And you know, we're moving more we're you know in Tennessee it's now illegal paternity fraud is now illegal in Tennessee this is moving to become a national thing with other states working to adopt it and with this coming in with this coming into uh existence you know that's something that that will potentially be expanded upon 
completely dissolution of, of lifetime alimony. That's another big one that's going. Single mothers are facing serious penalizations under this, under this new project. So like I said, goodbye Section 8. Child support is going to be very tough and very rough on them. You know, single mothers are basically going to lose a lot of rights in society, a lot of privileges, to put it out there. They're going to lose a lot of privileges, so it's going to be a lot more difficult for them to survive with Tyrone Jr. And, you know, they're going to have to, I mean, I, I've said this before and I'll say it again, that Tent City is a serious reality because if they cannot, have they don't have a roof over their heads, you know, the only place where they're going to have to go is it's going to end up being Tent City. And, you know, once I, I've said this before and I'll say it again, once you go into Tent City, you don't just come out of Tent City. Tent City is a rough place. It's it's hard, you know, because it's always, you know, you're putting up a constant effort for food, for survival. You know, it's 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 just it's no joke in Tent City. A lot of a lot of people think that you're big and bad until you end up in Tent City. A lot of women think they're big and bad. They end up in Tent City. And they go to Tent City, and then in Tent City, like it's a whole different story, you know. Because like you're not once you go in, you don't just come out, and like you know you don't you don't, you don't get to eat whatever you want to eat in there. It's a it's a struggle, it's a struggle for daily survival. And you have these women in there with their kids in there, and you know it's like it's like you know they're talking about like how can I get out of here, and they, you know they assign them a social worker that they get to meet with maybe every three to six months. And they basically just keep feeding them the same lies that, like, you know, you know, we're, we'll work with you about this. Because really, it's, it's, it's essentially a prison. It's essentially a prison. It's essentially a prison. And no one's and no one is coming. No one is advocating for them to get out. You know, I've said this before and I'll say it again, that Tyrone is the king of Tent City. When Tyrone is hungry, he will eat. When Tyrone is thirsty, he will drink. OK, when Tyrone wants some loving, he will get some loving. Tyrone is the king of the Tent City and he will rule, rule Tent City with an iron fist. Okay. And it's, 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 it's not, he's not going to tolerate any nonsense in his house, in his kingdom. Okay. Cause that is his domain. And modern day women are going to just have to really adjust and adapt to that. You know, m good men no longer want to have relationships with these individuals. And you're, we're seeing serious consequences now coming for women who are single mothers. Like this is really going to like there's it's not gonna they're not gonna be able to go back and forth to plan uh, to plan you know what every so often to to uh, remove to you know get rid of a gestation it's just not gonna happen like that anymore there's not gonna be uh, this these handouts anymore where you can go and collect Section Eight and live off that for the rest of your life or public housing they're gonna put all of these people out of public housing they're gonna scrub public housing clean because they really shouldn't be living in there people who work hard public housing was originally meant for people in the military so once they got out of the military they can go they would live in public housing and they would get back on their feet and then they would leave that was the purpose of public housing and then you had single mothers moving into public housing and then and then they became an intergenerational thing it was never meant to be that way so these people are gonna have to go they're gonna have to go somewhere and, you know, these are people who don't have a lot of skill sets. You know, they could do bad all on their own so they can go do bad in Tent City. You know, they can go be a boss babe in Tent City, but they have to leave. They can't stay here anymore. They have to go. It's funny. I'm looking at this gameplay, man, bro. This is a Grand Theft Auto 3. It's a definitive edition from back from, what was it, 2001? This is over 20 years ago. And I just look back and I think back how how. Things used to be so different. Now women used to be different. Women have always been women. But with social media and everything else, modern day women are just, it's just very hard to be in relationships with them. And it's no wonder men have decided that, you know what, we're done with this. We're just walking away. We want to focus on ourselves, our own happiness, our relationship with God, if we believe in God, you know, developing a good relationship with Jesus Christ and, you know, just and, and, and finding and enjoying our peace. And all of these men who've walked away, so many of these guys walked away 20 years ago, and they are living happy and healthy, happy, they're healthy, and they just have ridiculous amounts of money. They have more money than they know what to do with it. Even some of my subscribers that have walked away years, they walked away years ago from Western society, and they just have tons of money coming in now. No woman, but tons of money. You know, they're living these carefree, wonderful lives, and they have no wives. And women don't know what they've lost because they think they're wealthy. They think they're doing so well. And, and you know, well, they know they're not doing well, but they're just trying to flex. You have so many women who are making $200,000 a year and they don't even have $20,000 in savings. You know, 
oh, I, oh, I make a hundred thousand dollars a year. She doesn't even have, she can't even come up with five thousand dollars right now, though. She can't come, and and then you have a guy who makes fifty thousand dollars a year. He has two hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars in the bank, and he just has money that he doesn't know what to do with, literally. And he has everything he wants. Owns a condo. Owns a condo. Owns two vehicles. Paid for both of them cash. Yeah, I mean everything has gaming PCs, video game systems. How you know house is decked out, or he are they own, or owns a mobile home, pays nothing in rent. You know, lives very good, travels, enjoys life, and these women are out here acting like they're better than these men. And oh, I make all of this money, but you have no financial literacy, and then they end up homeless, and they start talking about the wage gap and all of this other nonsense. And what modern women, modern day women, don't can't see is that no matter they are not blessed, they are not blessed by God because no matter how much they, money they have, it won't last them because they're because the hearts of these individuals have become wicked. You see the spirit of of Jezebel, of the, the wicked queen Jezebel, running and permeating throughout Western society. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. New law will punish single mothers for destroying their communities. What do you guys think regarding this and everything else we discussed today? I want to know your thoughts, so let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA and walking away. And cheers.